Whenever you're working on a variable frequency drive, one of the first considerations you need to make is the fact that when you turn power off, the capacitors can hold a rather high voltage for a significant amount of time. I currently have this drive on and I am reading a meter with my meter. I'm actually reading overload because we're above the range of this meter. However, I want to show you exactly what that voltage does when I switch off the power. Now you can see the disconnect is turned off. The drive panel is still lit for the moment. However, it will shortly go out. Even after the drive panel goes completely blank, we will still have a significant voltage available that can be very dangerous. Uh, just a couple more moments, we see that the panel is powering down. Now, the panel is completely off. I still have my test probe on the DC bus, and as you can see here, we still have over 300 volts on the drive. Turning the light panel on may help a bit, but you can see uh, it's 300 volts. It's slowly bleeding down. However, for a moment of time, though, that can be very dangerous. So you definitely want to make sure that you have no voltage available whenever you go in to service a drive. Check the DC bus as well as your incoming power to ensure that there is no voltage available on any of them. Even after checking the DC bus voltage, however, the capacitors inside the drive can still store a significant amount of power. Even after several minutes of power being off of the variable frequency drive, when I reattach my meter to the DC bus, I can see that I still have a significant voltage available. Whenever you service a variable frequency drive, you need to ensure there are absolutely no power sources available, and that includes charges within the capacitors. Those capacitors can store lethal doses of electricity. Take every precaution that you believe necessary. In many instances, when people see electronics, they believe falsely that the voltage is very low. Many of our household electronics do have low voltages. However, when we get into industrial applications and particularly variable frequency drives, on the electronic circuits themselves, there can be a very high voltages. This pin that you're seeing here, the two black wires that surround the two red wires, there is high voltage on those. That's a total of 480 volts on this particular VFD. You need to remember to be very cautious when troubleshooting the electronics of variable frequency drives. The capacitors, as well as other components in the system, have the potential of having very high voltages available even after power has been disconnected.